are here with Life University players Paris Hollis on your right and Harley Davidson on the left. And you just won the plate here at uh, National Championships, guys. Congratulations. Uh, Paris, first of all, uh, tell me a little bit about what you wanted to accomplish in this game, especially after I know you were disappointed in losing in the quarterfinals and um, uh, how that felt. Yeah, we took. A, it was a pretty tough loss tonight in the quarterfinals, so we weren't too uh, we weren't too happy about that. Obviously, so this game and the rest of these games, honestly, we wanted to just come back and make and make a message. You know, we could have easily just whittled down and quit, but that's not what life is about. So we really wanted to come out and send a message. And Harley, this is your first major tournament with yes. the the live team. You were playing at Snake River. We did a little thing about you in Rugby Magazine. People should go read that. But. Uh, you're, you're here at Life, and you've made an impact. Uh, obviously, uh, what are some of the things you wanted to, to showcase or be able to, to contribute to the team with? Uh, really just, I just want to come here to learn, and they've been helping me out a lot. My skills have increased way better. The guys here are great. They're really helpful. Uh, I, I was a little down myself being on the freshman team, and these guys really picked me up. So I'm going to keep working from there. Good, good. Uh, Paris? Hi, uh, Okay, well, the big play in this plate final where you were, you were lined up to be tackled and then you just uh, lowered a shoulder and uh, knocked him straight over and ended up going over. Um, how much fun was that to do? Uh, it's probably one of my most favorite things to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, that's what we work out for, you know, just lower a shoulder and keep going. So I should pretty much give that up to, you know, our training. I got to go against some of the hardest guys uh, in the business, you know, every day. So that's pretty much where I came from. And uh, um, Harley, you're able to sometimes turn some games around. You just got you've got some speed, um, and and even though you ended up losing that game uh, against Dartmouth, uh, they were up they were up, and and you were able to sort of turn that game around a little bit by just scoring a try right off the right off the restart. Um, you know, what do you think about when you see a gap like that? Do you feel like you can make it every time? Uh, it's just kind of more just a reaction thing. I don't really think about it. I mean, I was going to think about getting, getting it out wide, and I saw they were yeah. a little spread out too far, and I just thought I'd just hit it. Okay, good. And one more question, both of you guys. What's it like? You've got Dan Payne. You've got Scott Lawrence working with you. You've got Tui Osborne teaching you sevens. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice bunch of coaches to have. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, think, uh, I think we're in the best place to play rugby and develop our game in the country, uh, to be honest with you. That's not just because I go there. When I first came to life, I uh, honestly didn't know anything about rugby, and since then, you know, I've been able to just do so much, so I'm forever thankful for our coaching staff and for all that, for, you know, building me up into the player I am today. Excellent. Anything to add to that, Harley? No? That's good? Well, all right. Good job, guys. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.